What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Zay. And if you don't say the day, then you ain't part of that gang, man, on for now. So check it, man. Today, we got a guest on the channel today, man. You want to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Lee. You can add me on Instagram, just to Leah. All right, we're going to have her Instagram in the description, man. So y'all go ahead and add her. For y'all that don't know, this is one of my lovely sisters. This is my sister, Leah. And we're going to have Leah on the channel, man, today. We're going to have her rating my... 2021 gun collection, man. So we're gonna have, we're gonna go through all the guns. Let us see the thing, guns. You no, know, rate them one through ten, and choose her favorite gun in the end. And for those who are the, all of my comments, man. Every gun has been safety checked beforehand. Every pistol has been safety checked, and I will clear all my big firearms, my my AR, my AR uh, pattern guns before I hand them over. So check it. And without further ado, this is how we're gonna start off, man. We're gonna go ahead and go up in the safe, man. We're gonna start out with the pistols first, man. So we're gonna go up, you know, the top shelf. We're gonna go out with the pistols. We're gonna start off. We're gonna start off slight, man. We're gonna start off today. We're gonna start off with. Start off a little something slight. Something slight. The mag is clear. Firearm is clear. No mag. Bam. Taurus G3. This is Taurus G3. All right, all right. Go ahead, put right. it in your hand. Don't point it at yourself. Oh, oh, you're so right. when you grab a gun, you gun always safety point in, mm -hmm, You always place, point it in the safe direction. Don't point it at nothing that you don't intend to kill. You feel me? So, what you think about that? That, that is. The G towards G3 chamber in nine millimeter. Towards G3 chamber in nine millimeter. Uh, this gun was going for about I say it was about I got it when it first came out. So, um, it was about two, about like two, two thirty or something like that after taxes, and I bought a box of ammo. So it's about two thirty, two thirty two, something like that. But yeah, towards G3. What you think of that? All right, so um, it's light, so it's something I could carry, something I could carry. Yeah, um, I like the color, the grip is good, so I rate this about a a seven out of ten. Seven, seven out of ten. ten. Yeah. Seven out of ten. Taurus G three. Um, I give it a. a overall gun for beginners. I give it a. I give it a 10 out of 10 for beginners. So if you're looking for your first handgun and you want to get a budget firearm that's considered a four size, this is considered a Taurus four size uh, gun, which is the same size as a Glock 19. So I give it a 10 for beginners. But for me, I'll say I give it a, I give it a, I give it a seven also. You can't beat it, man. It comes with two mags. It comes with one. Uh, 17 round mag and 115 round mag. Yeah, so that's the Taurus G3. Let's see what else we got. Uh, next, we're gonna go into oh, some new right here, man. Some new, new some new. So drop the mag, boom, the mag is clear, firearm is clear. This right here is the Beretta APX Sentinel. This is the tactical version, which is also uh, cut for optic. You get the plates that come that, uh, come with it. But yeah, this is a Beretta APX chambered in nine millimeter. So that's the Beretta APX. Remember, it's firearm safety when you grab it. Hand off the trigger, no matter if it's loaded or unloaded. Treat every firearm that is as if it's loaded. Never point it in the direction of something that you don't want, intend to kill. So, uh, that's the Beretta APX. What you think of that? All right. I like the name of it. It's real pretty. It's cool, too. Yeah, you see that it says the name there? Yeah. On the right side, and it got the APX on the top mm -hmm. and on the, uh, both sides. And then I like the little barrel on this one right yeah. here. That's considered a threaded barrel. Got a little thread protector on there, so this this can come off. Uh -huh. For those who don't know what a threaded barrel is, a threaded barrel, I mean, let me show them. Mm -hmm. This has a thread protector, but threaded barrel is usually used for when you're running suppressors or compensators. So yeah, 
I'm gonna put that thread protector back on there. Uh, this gun runs about, uh, last time I checked, it was about four, between four and five hundred dollars. I didn't pay four and five hundred dollars for mine, but yeah, that's the Beretta APX. What would you rate that, that gun? All right, so you know the rate today for Miss Beretta, I'm gonna have to rate her a, I'll give her a nine. She deserves a nine. A nine? Yeah. Beretta APX. I like the name. Red APX got a smooth trigger pull. She give it a nine. I'll show you guys the reset. Literally there, but she give it a nine. Red APX. I like this firearm, man. For a lot of people that that get into firearms, a lot of people uh want threaded barrels, want. Uh, a gun is cut with an optic and the trigger is not too bad the Beretta is just like well this version of the Beretta is just like the um the sig m17 so you can actually change out the chassis that's inside of there and you can change out the grips and the slide and i you know you can change up the colors and everything if you purchase the the other grips and everything from Beretta site um for that, for that, for this gun being able to do that, I'll say that's that's one up for me. So I have to get this gun. I have to get this gun uh, nine and a half. I say a nine and a half. Um, this this is chambered a nine millimeter. Uh, I'm not sure if these are nice sights. I don't think they are. Nah, these are not nice sights. So uh, if it, if it would have came with nice nice sights, then yeah, I would have, I would have definitely gave this gun a ten, but it comes with the threaded barrel, it comes optic cut, it comes with, uh, what, two fifteen round mags? Yeah, two fifteen round mags. It's a great pack, compact. It's it's somewhat the same size of, actually, this is the same size as the the Glock nineteen, but it's just thicker. So the gun is literally thicker, like, and with the gun is thicker. If I put a Glock nineteen right next to this. This gun, it, it, it's it's chunky. It's it's thick like the uh, the uh, Springfield XD. Like you put one of them next, right next to this, they're about the same size. But yeah, it's nine and a half for the Beretta APX. Moving on, we're gonna go to uh, the, I'm gonna say best for last. This right here, clear, clear. This is my Glock 19 Polymer 80. I built this gun from scratch. A lot of you guys seen it on the channel before. But yeah, got the Hollison optic up there. This is the Glock 19 Polymer 80. What you think of that? Oh, I like this already. I like it already. The color, see, I like the green color because it, it stands out a little bit. So it's, That's uh, FD. FD? <laughs> yeah, it's brown. It's, it's more of a brown tint. That's the tint. Okay. But it's called FD. FD, okay. And then Flat dark earth. What's this called right here? That is uh, optic. So optic. I read that optic. Yep. I like this. And it's like the Hollison 507C. So you know. That is a Hollison 507C. I, I got it off optic planet. I got a review uh i'll put that video i'll put the link of that video in the description um yeah yeah now i like the it's got a flashlight with it i do like yeah, it has a flashlight a and a laser yeah the so you hit this thing. button here mm -hmm. that's the laser see y'all see and then you hit both buttons it switch to the flashlight and laser i'm not sure if you can see the, the laser too and then you push it again it's just the flashlight yeah yeah the only thing is, with all this equipment on there, it is heavy. So, the rating I'm going to have to get this one is 8. Only because it's heavy. And I'm, you know. But other than that, everything is, like, super cool. It's got real cool technique, uh, technology and stuff added onto it. So, this one is the page. Say 8. So, my Glock 19 Polymer 80. This is my first Polymer 80 I ever built, man. This is my baby, man. Yep. Uh, I carry this gun a lot, man. I have my concealed carry license. 
So I sometimes carry this this uh, firearm. Make sure um, I also serialize my polymer 80s for my own uh, bookkeeping. So you know, if th anything did happen, it's already everything is all. I keep all my stuff in the bookkeeping in my safe. So yeah, um, my polymer 80. Uh, I have to get this gun a 10, man. This is my baby, man. I have to get this gun to 10. You see, I got the, the Strike Industries uh, plus five base plate on there. So really, this is a 20 plus one, okay. which is 20, 20 rounds and one in the head. You can't beat that. Uh, got the TLR eight on there, light laser combo. Got uh, the Amerigo um, nice sights on the top, suppressor high sights. I am planning on getting a threaded barrel for this, this gun. I'm gonna change the barrel uh, to gold. I'm gonna change the back plate to go right now. I got the skull on there. I'm gonna change, take this off, put on another one of my firearms that I'm building. Um, and I'm gonna change barrel gold, change the takedown pins gold. Uh, I wanted to see if I could find uh, a mag release that's gold, extended uh, slide release that's gold. I didn't hear, probably try to give me a, a base plate that's that's gold. I want this to this be like flat dark earth and gold all together. And it had a hint of black and white off the Hollison and uh tail light. But yeah, a 10 for my my uh, polymer alien build. Yeah. Homemade. Homemade. Next, we got... Um, I just keep this in here because I have a child in the house, so I would just keep everything locked up. I don't want them playing with it. This is just a pellet gun. It's... Yeah, so I'm just use Roundhouse for dry fire. But yeah, I know you guys saw this before. This is a pellet gun. This is just some, you know, got the CO2 cartridges in there. I probably need to put another one in there. But yeah, take another one. So we're not gonna be, we're not really gonna be rating this. If you did, what would you rate this? It's like a five. It's just some slight. It's a, it's a five. Oh, look. It's, it's a toy, so I ain't about to rate this. It don't deserve to be rated with no money. Big status, though. All right, my, we're moving into my final pistol. Now this right here, this is also my baby, AKA one of my daily carries. Also, this is my, boom, my Glock 22 chamber of 40 Smith and Western. I'm gonna drop the mag, show you that the mag is clear. Right the slide, show you that the slide, firearm is clear. I got the uh, oh, turn tactical base plate, which adds, uh, I think for the 40 Smith & Wesson, it adds an extra four rounds. So it goes from 15 to, I think, 19. Yeah, I think 19. Got the uh, old light, uh, PL Pro Valkyrie rechargeable light. Just some slide on there. This usually sits up beside the bed. Uh, yeah, I got the little back strap on there, so, no, I have big hands. I like how it feels with it. But yeah, this is my Glock 22 Gen 4, Chamber of 40 Smith & Weston. So what you think about that? All right, I recognize this one. You, you really do keep this on your side with you a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So, you know, me and him, we friends or whatever, so I'm gonna have to get him a nine and a half, because, you mm -hmm. know... This is the protector right here. He he keep it up. He keep it like down. You know what I'm saying? So and then he got the flashlight. He's saying all of it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna get this a nine and a half. Nine and a half. Yeah. Uh, this is this is my baby man. This is the first Glock I ever bought. I have more cases up there. No Glock cases up there and all that. Other cases for my Polymer eighty. Uh, I I usually put two different uh. Two different Glocks in there, but I, I, the last Glock I show you guys, which would be the last Glock that's in the safe. So, um, yeah, Glock twenty two, Gen four. I have to get this. I have to get this. Uh, I have to get this a ten, man. Yeah, I have to get this a ten. Um, I I originally started off being a, a Glock fanboy. Honestly, I'm telling the truth. Honest truth. I I I, I started off being a Glock fanboy 
But I've been looking at SIGs recently. SIGs, Chris Vector, and uh, Shotgun. So them some, them, them some things you might see to come to the condo real soon. But I've been looking into a SIG M17. The gun looks great. So I think I might be picking up one of those if I can find one. But yeah, I have to get this a 10, man. Glocks, you can just trust trust your life to up to Glocks. Glocks just is everything, you know. A lot of people say Glocks are are um like you go you can yeah, you can stop it. But a lot of people say Glocks is like a blank slate. You can do anything to Glock. Glock has the most aftermarket support. So you know, if you were looking to get into guns, this would be a, a great platform to start on because you it has the most aftermarket support. You can do as much as you want with a Glock. You know? And it's reliable too. And it's most definitely reliable. Most definitely reliable. You can you can trust your life behind a Glock. And you know, some Glocks might jam. If you have certain mags like uh I got uh uh SMG tactical thirty round mag. You feel me? Okay then. This thing this thing, the mag gets stuck. I think I need a new spring. It gets mm -hmm. stuck and uh the bullets don't you know okay. uh it don't it don't t catch the next round so yeah i also have a 50 round a kci 50 round drum that thing jams sometimes it, it works when you want to as long as you lube it, it it'll work but yeah um i have also have um the ets mag this is a 24 round ets mag champion that takes a uh, 40 smith and weston a lot of people say the ETS mags jam. I haven't had any problems out of my ETS mag. Maybe it's just every so often somebody get it or, you know, I tend to clean my guns after every time I use them. My, some people might not clean their guns. I don't know. I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak for myself. I haven't had any hiccups. All right, my bad, man. We back with the Glock 22. I had uh, my phone overheated being on a charger and recording at the same time. But yeah, Glock 22, I have to give it a 10, man. Very reliable gun. Uh, next, we're going to move into uh, we're going to move into hey, AR right. pistol. Make my first AR pistol. Boom. Show you guys that the mag is clear. Got an ampedestrian charger handle. And the bolt is clear. There's nothing in the chamber. Send the bolt forward. This is my AR pistol. This is my Omni Hybrid multi cal chambered in uh, 5.56223. So, yeah, tell me what you think of that. Ooh, now. Nah. This is bigger than me, so you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it, I definitely do. Um, how would you grip one of these? So, to grip one of these, yeah. it's like gripping the AR. So, me, when I press the grip it, yeah. I put a hand right here on the on the uh, rail. I'm going to get some, some more things to put on it, like a, a forward grip, mm -hmm. uh, an angle forward grip. Cause I can't put a, uh, I forget what it's called. I forgot what it's called. This is the pistol, so I'm gonna get an angle four grip. I'm gonna give me some. I just took the optic off of this one. I'm gonna get a new optic and some uh, some iron sights. But gripping it, I usually rest my cheek here on this point. I grip and I'll be looking down the iron sights. Okay. I grip it like that. What's this one called again? So put this is this is an AR pistol, uh an omni hybrid multi cal chamber five five six two two three. Uh yeah, like that. Finger off the trigger, yeah. Mm -hmm. You already got it down pat. Boom. Boom. Yep. Yeah, I mean you can you can lower it a little bit like right there. Yeah. And then you rest your cheek on there to boom to take your shot. Boom. Yep. So what would you rest this rate this gun? Alright. I like it. I do like it. Um I feel like, you know, when you get the grip and stuff you talked about getting, it'll look real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that one an eight. 
Got eight out of ten. Got the SB tactical brace on there. I know it's a whole bunch going on with the braces, but I'm 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 watching out. I like to be up to date on my gun laws. Most definitely. Like to be update. I believe in knowing your laws if you're dealing with firearms or anything of that such. Know your laws in your state, in your county, because laws, different counties, different states, different places have different laws. So make sure you research where you stand before you decide to pick up a firearm. But yeah, Omni Hybrid Multi Carol. Uh, this is my first AR platform that I bought which is my first AR pistol. When I originally bought it, it didn't come with a brace at all. I ended up picking a brace up from the same place I got it. I think it was Adventure Outdoors. It was just a buffer tube at the back. Buffer tube at the back. Um, yeah, this gun, I would rate, uh, I would rate it, uh, I would say a nine and a half for beginners. Nine and a half for beginners. Because it was very, very, affordable this gun only ran me about 599 dollars after tax i paid like six something Ooh, so this is around the same price as my my problem 80 costs more than this gun both of them and um what else uh yeah most of most of, most of my guns are around this this price point you know except for my Taurus g3 but yeah but far as me rating it on a personal level, I would rate it, I'd say, I will rate it mm, a seven, solely based off on the fact of Omni, these Omni hybrids are made with a polymer lower and a polymer upper. So you don't really have longevity in the gun if you keep it for a long time. The main components are um, supported by metal, which is like at the different Take down pins. So when I take the gun down at the different take down pins, it's supported by uh, metal. By the buffer tube, it's supported by metal. And um, yeah, the front, the front where you mount the uh, the barrel is supported by metal. So basically, all the main important points points are supported by metal. But I don't like that it's a, a polymer upper and a polymer lower. Um, uh, yeah. But other than that, it's a great gun. Uh, can't get no better than that. Yeah, that's my Omni Hybrid Multi Cal. Next. Oh, I skipped over one of my pistols. This is not complete, but I'm still going to show it for you guys. Uh, I skipped over this thing here. This work in progress right here. Work in progress. Boom. Glock 43. Got the Glock 43 mag and everything already. This is six rounds. Little pocket. It's a little pocket rocket once I get my barrel um, and my trigger, my low parts kit. But yeah, this would be my Glock 43. Now, I know you, this is not a considered a full firearm. It's cut for optic also. Won't give me a, one of them shield, armor, or the Romeo, uh, the slimline optics, the Hollowson 47K or a Romeo Red Dye, or um, it was another, it's a SMSC, something like that. Uh, that's made for the Hellcat. I might throw one of them on here, but it's not a complete firearm. But you see the potential and where I'm going with it. Right. Like, I already see the work. The work what would you rate? Mm -hmm. Now, what would you rate his gun? All right. All right. Based off what is already being built and it ain't even finished yet, mm -hmm. it's already some heat, you know? Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to have to get... I like this one. And I like how it fits in my hand. You mm -hmm. know, I got smaller hands. So, you know, I'm rating based on it's what made, I like. And, and that's, that's another thing. Those, that's a slim line pistol. It's a single stack. And it's made, you know, for people with smaller hands, and also a conceal carry aspect, and for women also. Yeah. It's not, it just the slide is not attached yet, so 
Don't don't worry about it. I just got it on there for looks right now. Okay. Oh yeah, that's the Glock forty three chamber to nine millimeter. So, so this would you rate one, that? I'm gonna give this one a ten. And it ain't even done yet. So, you know, it'll be it'll be one of my favorites, I can tell. So this one a 10. I definitely like the grip, too. Uh, yeah, that, that, that part of my really simple job. You know, you finna have that light on there and that. It got the light and laser. So it got mm -hmm. a right light and a flashlight. It's about 600 lumens. And then uh, it's a red, I mean, a green, a green dot laser. It's dead right now. I got the charge in the safe. Don't feel like, didn't feel like charging it for the video. And that. So, yeah. Yeah, so... Glock 43, uh, I would give it a, and the state is in right now, I'd give it about a, I'd give it a nine, but when it's finished, I just think it's going to be a 10, definitely, so stick around for that build, man, I'm going to do a video on this, update you guys later on, let you guys see why I went with this, Glock 43. Uh, next, we're going to go with... This guy here. We got the boom. boom. MCK conversion kit with the Glock 22 in it. My girlfriend, she used to call this motherfucker the shark because it looked like a shark fin and all that. <laughs> I see it. I see it too. But yeah, MCK conversion kit. Let me show you guys. Drop the mag. Mag's empty. Gun is clear. Both both mags are empty. Both mags are empty, so yeah. What you think of that? All MCK right. I see what you mean. It kind of looked like a little uh -huh. fish or something. Let me switch these out. Yeah, it looks like fish, huh? Yeah. I, I can see what you mean by this. Mm -hmm. It's very. And then, don't this go on your arm, like right here? Yeah, it goes, it goes around your arm. It's a, it's a okay, brace, okay. a stabilizer brace. Or oh, you can, boom, fold that thing in. Make it smaller, boom. compact. Right, man. It's easy to fit in the bag. You know, you know. Travel size, up with it. Uh, that's cool right here. This sort of, uh, what's it called? It's a fold and brace. Fold and brace. And then we got, you know, we got the, we got the, Small little red dot on top. Right now. So yeah. if you had to rate this, this it's, got two it's not it's not really a gun. It's the conversion kit, yeah. but it all goes together. So if you had to rate this package, what would you give it? You no, know, it's got the full package. I see. It's got everything you need. Um, this one, I'm gonna give it a ten. Ten. She get an MCK a ten with the Glock. Yeah. MCK conversion kit with the Glock. Me, MCK conversion kit. Uh, I give it. I give it a 10 also. It just gives you a more a better stable platform to shoot on. You have better uh you have more contacts to put your hands on when shooting this firearm. So it turns your a pistol caliber into it's basically a a, a a pistol caliber carbine basically. So it's turning your pistol into a more shootable so you can shoot farther you can shoot you feel me father yeah so i'll give it a 10. i like this thing man this is it's very touch i usually run a um i got the mck 50 round drum in the safe i usually throw that in here and then i throw the 30 round mag in the front or i throw a 50 round drum in the in the uh gun itself and i throw the, e the c3 ets and i have two c2 c3 you know, you see the bullets all along, you know, just, just some, some things that I do. But yeah, that's my MCK conversion kit. I'm dropping a, a review on this. But yeah, that's the MCK conversion kit. Next, we're going to move on to... Boom. Now, see, I got the med couple on there. I've been had this, just didn't have it on there. But yeah, I decided to add it on there. Uh, so you guys that this firearm is clear. But yeah, so this is the Draco. Classic Draco, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, ooh, it's heavy. 
Yeah. I can't even hold it. Hold up now. I've this is every this, this is everybody's times. favorite gun. This yeah. is literally everybody's favorite I've gun. I've even seen this a couple times in Call of Duty and stuff. Like this is a very known gun. I know a little bit about it. Uh yeah, this is this is nice right here. Like this real life a shooter for real, for real. So I'm gonna have to also rate this a ten because you know, well no, I'm gonna rate this a nine and a half because it's super heavy. Super heavy. You gotta be like real muscular and strong to be able to hold one of these for real. But other than that, nine and a half because everything else is great. So there you go. Nine and a half. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm gonna say about it. Yep. <laughs> Big ten for the Drake man. Yeah. Big ten for the Drake man. You know. I think I honestly I think all my guns are ten, but you know, I'm just being modest for the video. <laughs> if you I wouldn't get the gun if I don't think it's a ten, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Big Drake man. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Next, we're gonna do the final weapon. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Save my best for that. Boom. Got the mag couple on there. I'm gonna take the mag out, the mags out. Show you that the firearm is clear. Boom. This is my custom built AR pistol. Yeah, I built this thing from scratch myself. Did everything myself. Installed barrel gas block, tubes, everything. This is my custom AR pistol. What you think of that? AR pistol. And I see it, I see you. And I like the barrel, it's like the yeah. funnel tip. I like, I like that. Yeah, and then it's got the flashlight on the side instead of the bottoms mm -hmm. that it usually do. Um, it's got one of them grip things. I don't think this one's It's an SB tactical. SB tactical. But this one moves back and forth, so I can retract it. Oh, okay. It's SBA for braces, if anybody looking for the name of that. Yeah, I like this gun. Um, you got a flashlight on there and everything. Yeah, flashlight on the side. Pelican uh, 7600, I think. Amazon. Okay. All right. See, What'd you rate that? You already know I'm going to I'm gonna have to give this an 8. Only because I love everything else. Like, I love the little, the little barrel. love the flashlight. love the grip I have on it. Like, I can hold this one. With yep, got a mag, got a mag pool grip on there. Yeah. Then it came with the um, clear two clips on the side. Well, so. it, didn't, it didn't come with it. These are ETS mags. You can buy them. Mm -hmm. It came with a, a standard made in. Well, it actually didn't come with a mag because I bought the lower itself. I just chose these mags. ETS mags have no problems out of the AR mags. So I have had not one jam, one thing jam, anything. But uh, this mag actually came with my Omni Hybrid. But yeah, you can use any basically AR mags. I I'm, I got a couple extra P mags just in case. I always carry multiple mags for most, all my guns. You never know if a mag malfunction or you need multiple mags loaded in a, in a Senate, some scenario. So yeah. Yep. So I also have plate carriers. People don't think I have plate carriers. I have one plate carrier right here. Behind me. I'll do a, I'll do a video on that later. Go ahead. What you rate that? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do eight and a half. Eight and a half is my final answer. It's pretty cool. I love everything about it. The only thing is, it's, it's like super thin up here. Like I like I like a little thickness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But everything else is great. So you know. AR pistol. AR I gotta get this gun. A ten, man. This is my shit hit the fan gun. This is my gun that I, I bug out with. This and I'm giving me a, and a couple pistols. My bug out. I got also got a bug out bag over here. Oh, uh, yeah, I got a, I got a, it's kind of heavy. Yeah, I got a bug out bag over here. I'm gonna be grabbing that bag with this. I'm also deciding to put a, a long folder on here so I can fold this and make it a smaller package and put it fit in a, a bag of that size. Um, yeah, it's custom built, uh, mag pool grip. I'll, I'll do a review of all the attachments and all the things. It got a uh, 
green dot on top. But yeah, this is my AR pistol. So if you had to pick one gun out of every gun I showed you today, which gun would be your favorite gun? Okay, let me see here. I'm gonna have to do the one that looks like a fish. When it looks like a fish? Yes. Oh, so she like the, the Glock 22 with this, the MCK conversion kit. Yep, this one right here. Cause I like, like I said before, I like that it's lighter. I like the uh, optic view and then the grip I have and then this uh, foldable thing right here. So this is definitely my favorite yeah. out of all of the them. The Log Tactical uh, Folder, mm -hmm. that's okay. gonna allow that rifle that I just showed you, yep. the, the AR pistol, that's gonna allow it to, to do the same thing forward like that. Yep. But I'm gonna I'm 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 get that also. I got one of those on the way. Uh, now let me blow your mind with this. Okay. This is also the gun I showed you earlier. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is the Glock 22. <laughs> Shame with a 40 cal. I you... snuck off to the side and put it in there. And I didn't just even Just to surprise see her, see, to, you know, see her reaction on it. So yeah, <laughs> this is still my Glock 22. So boom, you got two in the price of one. You can run a gun with that pistol as a sidearm. Mm -hmm. Know, put that little test or you on can there throw real quick. into the MCK conversion kit and be more precise with your shot. But yeah, she told us the MCK conversion kit with the Glock 22 in it. What would you choose out of your? What's your favorite out of your gun case? Most people gonna think I'm gonna say the Draco. Yeah, you was feeling the Draco. But far as a prized possession, the Draco. But far as a life or death situation, I gotta go with my AR pistol, man. I gotta go with the AR pistol and some type of sidearm. I have multiple holsters also in my collection that I uh, run pistols and everything in, concealed carry and all that. Uh, I'm gonna take my AR pistol, probably with a Glock or something reliable behind a Beretta Glock or um, no, a G3 or some, something reliable behind it as a sidearm, but I gotta, I gotta give it up to my baby, man. Custom built. Okay. Yeah. Probably run the, run the, the Polymer 80 with the red dot on it. Probably run that. That Yeah, I probably run that with it. Throw it in the holster. Yeah. But yeah. All right, so she say that was her favorite gun. I want to thank my sister for coming to the channel, man, and helping me build some content, man. So if you guys want to follow my sister, man, go ahead and follow her. Her, her Instagram will be in the description. Um, Yeah. So you got anything else you want to say? Uh, No, but y'all better uh, like, comment, and subscribe his video. Yeah, man, like, comment, them, subscribe, you know, man. Most definitely share. I love the support. I'm currently almost at 1.2K subscribers on YouTube. Let's keep the train going. Yeah, Let's keep the motivation. There, you know Let's keep I mean? growing as yeah. a family, man. So, yeah, it's your boy Zay. And if you don't say the day, then you ain't part of the gang. Oh, oh for now. now.